Hey guys, long time no see. Time to watch more Hell's Paradise. Woo! No, I did not drop the show. I know a lot of people thought I did. Um, I was just sick for the past like two, well, fully it was three weeks. I was sick for a week. Then I started feeling better and then I got sick again. Now, since Hell's Paradise is going to be on a break again next week, I don't think it's coming back until the weekend after next week. I'm not sure. There's quite a break. It gives me time to catch up. I'm going to do two episodes today and then two episodes next reaction. And then hopefully I will be able to watch it on Saturday and post it on Saturday. I keep saying that and then I get behind on it. So yeah. Now at the very end of last episode, Sigiri was knocked out. She was unconscious. So time to see where we are going to go in this episode. It's kind of a surprise. I feel like we've been, we haven't really hit as strong as the first two episodes with like shock value. So I am waiting for that. Okay. I'm waiting for something to happen. Right now we're kind of cutting in between people, fighting the monsters, going to different characters, finding out a little bit about the characters. Time to see what's going to happen in this episode. So without further ado, let's go. Hell's Paradise. This opening is still a banger. <laughs> da, da. I wonder how far exactly we are going to go. We focus hard on Sengiri. Oh, okay. She's awake now. <laughs> that didn't last long. I thought something bad was going to happen. Oh. The heck? It looks so casual. <laughs> Gabimaru just looks so just adorable. Is that like like poop? That like seriously, it just looks like poop. I'd be afraid to eat things on this island, also. Oh. Suspicious. Ugh. Gross. Gross! <laughs> I'd be like, no! <laughs> How disgusting, though. I'd be like, there probably are people that live here, right? People can adapt, okay? If you grew up living here, there's a way. <laughs> Dicks, girl. <laughs> Honestly, saying what we're thinking. <laughs> Fear is the unknown. Oh gosh, dude. <laughs> Just imagine if they were actually dead here and like this was like the afterlife. <laughs> Why do I feel like they can't go back? She's not gonna leave. Unlike <laughs> doubt. I feel like people are always like underestimating her. Damn. Shit. Bro. I feel like you can't. Like, they make it sound easy, but. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, because you talking to him sure is gonna pardon you. <laughs> oh gosh, dude is gonna die. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. That was so creepy. Dude, that is scary. <laughs> I figured. I'm like, there's no way they could easily get out of here. Whoa. Well, now you gotta swim. Or not. I thought they would be like, whoop. Ew. 
戦争の船を探しましょう。じゃないものは信じない。どうしても考えてしまう。これは天罰なのか。お前エミシか。そうなら村で休ませてくれ。連れて行け。他の集落の場所を測ってから処刑する。お参加は根絶やしだな。ごめんみんな。Uh -huh. ごめんじいちゃん。これは。Dude, that's sad. 自分は浅いもん、生きる道があるなら、生きるべきっす。これは、どうすればいい、生きるべきか。村のみんなに償うため、死ぬべきか。Damn, I mean, he feels the blame. これで、oh gosh. よせ、いいよな。なんで、just don't go near him! You idiot! やめとけ、もう無駄だ。Oh no, oh gosh. <laughs> Oh shit, I thought he just got sliced in half. I feel bad for him. Aww, don't give up. Like, live for them. Mm. I like, I see a problem though, because he blames himself for everyone dying, but he feels like he doesn't deserve to live. But also him living keeps our bloodline alive. But having a kid like this with that much guilt it makes me sad. Uh, and also, like, this samurai guy. He's kind of cute. <laughs> so, what's he gonna do? <gasps> Give him the live speech. <laughs> Don't okay, this guy's just really stupid. <laughs> But he's cute. <laughs> At least he's protecting the kid. Oh. Well, there you go. Live then. Oh. Okay, I like this. Like, let's go. Don't die though. Come on, live. Oh gosh, I hope they both lived. Oh no, it's just gonna be him. Oh, oh okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. They are like stuck there. Might as well find the elixir then. Oh, damn. I like this guy. <laughs> Is he actually a girl? Oh my gosh, it just flashes him, man. That's so weird. What the heck? Okay, so, Nugurai, girl. <laughs> Black. <laughs> okay, interesting though, I find just what's happening in this episode with basically Samurai belittling Sengiri for being a woman and saying she's at her limit and then finding out that Nugurai is actually a girl. I don't know why, I just find it interesting that we found out. <laughs> With the samurai, though, I mean, the girl didn't understand that, like, you know, woman, especially being a little girl and just getting undressed in front of him, like, <laughs> obviously inappropriate. Well, we found out you cannot leave, so you probably shouldn't even try to leave. Well, they did have that conversation. <laughs> That does make me wonder though, because like if there's only one assigned to each of them, like how do they sleep? Oh, <laughs> he's showing care. <laughs><笑>妻と生きると決めたんだ。この役目より長い長い人生をならばそれを邪魔するものからは。強いですね。お主だって強いだろう。欲しい以上に。わお。He 
After everyone talking down on her in this episode, like, that's nice that he is actually saying good things about her. <laughs> well, they're having a little moment here. Oh, good little moment between Sagari and Gabimaru. What a life. <laughs> Prove that wrong girl. Prove I'm wrong. Preach it, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is he gonna... Oh, shit! What the fuck, dude? Seriously was gonna just slash her. What a dick. Oh! You know what? He's probably gonna die here. Oh, yep, he died. You died. You did wrong, dude. Dude, he was just gonna slash you, fuck. <laughs> Oh man, what an idiot. I thought she had a very moving speech and then he's like, that's not how the samurai live. And then he was like, but gonna kill you. She's like, nope. I'm really excited to see where they go with Segari in this show because we are focusing a lot on her. I mean, Gabi Maru's story he wants to get back to his wife, but I feel like we're gonna see a lot of change in Segari. And I really hope she doesn't die in the future because I feel like if they develop this more... I feel like if she gets closer to Gabi Maru and develops more of a friendship bond with him and then something bad happens to her, like, he seems to be really calm around her and I feel like she really is the only one that can stop him from lashing out at everyone. So if something bad happens to her, I kind of worry for Gabi Maru, but, you know, this entire episode was very interesting. Just how we cut to different samurai, also Blondie. Okay, I don't know his name. Did they say his name? I might have missed it. Um, I'm just gonna call him Blondie. Blondie Samurai, very cute. Like him, he's adorable. <laughs> um, he's a little dumb, but he's cute. <laughs> now with that cliffhanger though, I have to see like what's gonna happen next. Is that guy gonna live? Is he gonna die? Time to see. Oh. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Creepy. Why are we gonna see this guy turn into like the monster that just attacked them? Okay. <laughs> Bro. Maybe it's not though. Maybe they can help him. Well, Gabi Maru, you were a little too late, man. So is that the little kid we were seeing throwing the rocks or stacking the rocks? <laughs> Maybe like fight with him a little bit to figure him out. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh my gosh, girl. Nice. <laughs> She's just a little cheerleader. <laughs> Having him fight all on his own. Come on, girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, I feel like they're gonna have a moment. Oh, gosh. Dude, he has a chunk of him missing. You just appreciate her for like who she is. Okay, <laughs> at least he's understanding now. Oh, he's gonna give. Aww. Okay, he's putting respect on just how she wants to live. Hmm. Sad that this had to happen, like, as he's dying. Aww. 
And Sagari is gonna show up. Yes, girl. Yes, she showed up. Aww. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> I love how he says it though, as if he's like, yep. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh gosh. Oh no. <sighs> She didn't get it. Ooh. <sighs> Breathing style. <laughs> oh. He wants food? <laughs> oh no! Shit! Oh shit. Maybe feed him a sandwich? <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit, girl. No way. No way. Oh shit. Oh well, she didn't die there. <laughs> to remain calm in that situation. Wow. And he died. He did, he did, he did. Oh no, okay. I really thought she was gonna get him there. Maybe grab his feet. <laughs> oh, burn his feet? Surprised you didn't use this to begin with. Just gonna kick rocks. <laughs> He's just trying everything. This guy is strong, though. <laughs> Carbon monoxide. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, shit. Now go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Disturbing showing like Oh the bones and the oh. So what? He wants to play with people, he gets hungry, he starts eating them. She's gonna pick up the head. Oh at least giving them comfort. <laughs> Okay. It does kind of remind me of Demon Slayer when Tanjiro... Well, they did it a lot in the first season. Well, I guess it happened in the second season when, you know, you cut the demons and then you find out, like, what happened in their past. And kind of giving them comfort in the end. Hmm. Knowing that both of them are dead, though. Damn, we are just killing a lot of people. It makes me feel like is this only gonna be a one season show? Like I mean I would think that you know they're coming from the source on where the elixir could be because they're protecting it. And hopefully she is still alive. Oh, what now? What now? What now? They seem shocked by something? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, I feel like we're gonna find out. Maybe the next episode? I feel like this episode's gonna end. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's a way to eat a peach? Oh, sh Ew, what the fuck? What the heck? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, that's scary. What the heck? Why? <laughs> They were like eating peaches and spitting it in their mouths and just like making out. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
That turn at the end was actually a little frightening though. Okay, that end scene really caught me off guard. <laughs> Well, just you know two girls making out right but other than the makeout session at the end i mean segeri definitely found her conviction like i said before we were really focusing on her character and just who she is how like she's calm she's like he said in the middle she doesn't look at it like man or woman she's just like does her duties she's she lies in the middle ground, you know? She wants to do the things that the men do. Also, I'm going to predict this. I feel like those girls at the end, like we see like really attractive women just making out with each other. I feel like they're gonna turn into a monster. I really do. I don't know, the way that they turned and looked at them, I feel like in the next episode, they're going to turn into actual like terrifying monsters. Just my prediction though, because that was so outrageous at the end. Anyways, two more episodes until I catch up to Hell's Paradise, which I will do in another reaction video. And I will post it um, sometime next week, just before the new episode airs, because there isn't one this weekend, this coming weekend. So yes, I will be caught up when Hell's Paradise returns. There you guys go. That was my reaction to Hell's Paradise. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay fresh, Mike.